Hi all and welcome to week two of the course. So in week two we look at the role of funding for state independent and Catholic schools and we start to look at where that funding comes from and how that funding impacts um, the quality of teaching and learning that occurs in schools. Now um, we all know that states have responsibility under constitution to fund schools however um, over the years the federal government has made significant contributions to funding um, or different aspects of funding and Recently, with all the debates around Gonski and Gonski 2.0, we've seen um, an increase in discussion um, about the role of that act of the funding, about the idea of fairness of funding, and how some schools seem to receive more funding than others, and. Um, what if that's fair and how that works, etc. So what we look at in this week is we start to look at how federal governments in the past have intervened in education in terms of funding. We really look at the Gongski reforms and look at possible future directions for funding um, Australian schools. I want you to really think about um, your personal experiences with, with the schools that you've been associated with, whether it's as a parent, as a student or as a, um, a, a teacher or SLSO um, and have a think about how that that funding of that school has um, influenced um, its practices and its day-to-day -day life. So I know as a um, primary school educator and leader, um, funding is, is pivotal for our day-to-day -day running and um, it determines how we timetable um, teachers and SLSOs and additional programs and what sort of support students receive and how they receive that support. So I'm really interested in your replies. Thanks.